Everyone knows Puma, one of the biggest sports brands in the world and they have made this year paddle rackets. Are Puma rackets good and how much do they cost? Pablo, are you gonna do a giveaway of this racket? Hello to all players, I'm Pablo and I welcome you to a new four set. Everyone knows that paddle is growing a lot and Puma has decided to enter with force in the paddle sector. The German brand has launched a very ambitious collection with rackets, clothing, shoes and racket bags. But is this the first time that Puma has entered the paddle sector? Well, actually not really because 2005 was the first time that Puma made a paddle racket. Let's say that the rackets at that time were not the best or the most trendy ones. But Puma's best moment was 2007 when Fernando Velasteguin signed with them. Vela played for two years with Puma until he quit to sign with Head. But why? Well, because Puma in those years was a company from Valencia that had bought the rights to use the Puma image. And actually that is what Adidas Paddle does today. The Adidas rackets that are sold are not 100% Adidas, but it is a license to use the Adidas image. Now we all know what happened with Puma in the past, but in 2022 Puma is back in Paddle. Now it is 100% Puma and they have launched 6 Paddle rackets, shoes, apparel, racket bags and everything. In addition, Puma has signed top players such as Momo Gonzalez and Victoria Iglesias. But Victoria Iglesias plays her matches with a completely black racket. Could it be a new Puma racket specially made for her or what is going on? But today it's time to talk about the Puma Solar Attack Power that is made for offensive players. Pay attention because in my opinion this racket is one of the best of this season for offensive players. But let's start talking about the materials of the racket. This racket incorporates a carbon fiber that Puma doesn't specify what it is. But if you compare the Puma with the Nox of Agustin Tapia that uses a 18K carbon fiber, it looks the same. So we can say that the carbon fiber used in this racket is pretty stiff. But also Puma incorporates in this racket the EVA Pro that is a really hard rubber. So the combination between the carbon fiber and the rubber makes this racket sound like this. Ooh, pretty hard. For those of you who likes hard rackets, this is definitely a good option. One point to improve of this racket is the rough finish. It is a 3D surface that is not going to help you because you don't really notice anything. So honestly, I would say that this rough finish is useless. But on the other hand, one thing that I really like from this racket is the wristband that I really like it. It's really comfy and elegant in my opinion. But one thing that worries me is the balance because this racket has a balance of 27 centimeters. So that makes this racket a difficult one to move and not very agile, but for an offensive player, it is incredible. Actually, my feelings in defense were not the worst. The main fear anyone can have while defending with this racket is its high balance. At the end, it's easier to defend when you play with the feeling to have the racket closer to your hand. And that feeling is made by a lower balance compared to this Puma racket. So this Puma racket forces you to hit always the ball correct to make a good shot. But as I told you before, this Puma racket uses a carbon fiber and a rubber really hard, so that means the racket won't help you to pass the ball to the other side of the court while defending. But everything changed when we talk about how the Puma works when you are at the net. I promise that in volleys I felt how fast the ball was compared to other rackets. You notice that the ball gets a very high speed when you do a good volley and you make it difficult for your opponent. At the end, as this racket has that balance and that materials, is here when makes the difference. If you are able to move the racket fast, it's impressive how well it works, but that is the problem. Not every player is able to move this racket, so I would only recommend it to players strong enough and with high technique. In Víboras and Bandejas, it's exactly the same than volleys. It's difficult to move the racket and prepare the shot, but if you do it well, your shot is amazing.
But if we reach 10k subscribers this week, I promise you that I will do a giveaway, an international giveaway of this racket. This is all for today. Take care and see you in the court. See ya.